Lorenzo. What is it, Grandmama? Come. I will show you. What does it mean? It means our family is here to serve God. And now look who is leading us all. Is that me? One day you will lead us, as your father led this family and his father before him. Does it scare you? A little. Let the fear drive you to work hard and prepare. Ready? Ready. Go! Oh. <laughs> So that when the time comes, you'll be ready. Lorenzo, that was really bad. You're never going to kill anyone. Giuliano, he's not meant to kill anyone. Then what's the point? Lorenzo? How are you? But if I hit a man like that, I could kill him. I'm fine. No, you're not. Why take the chance if it's just a game? I killed a man today. Because Medici men teach their sons they must win. Everything that, everything that he will ever be. There'll be no need for that, will there, Father? My father is a good, and he's an honorable man. Lorenzo, what do you mean? They will march on Florence at midnight. Those men will sack this city, Father. And you agree to it. But he is no longer the head of this bank. We both knew this day would come. We just didn't think it would come so soon. I know what they will do. Father, no, you must not do this. But that's ridiculous. Who removed him? I am going to. What choice is there? You had no choice. No, I had no choice. Oh, you had a choice. There is no choice. Yes. There is always a choice. I did have a choice. And if by not hurting him, I lose? Only if you are prepared to lose. He will have won in the eyes of God. A great man does good. Lorenzo, you must do and be good. To do good, we have to be good. I'm now the head of the bank. Is this the army Florence sends to our aid? And your presence here is illegal. A single Medici offers you more than an army. Offers you the chance of peace. But it's your grave, Medici. You did it. You saved Florence. Without so much as raising your sword. I defy you! I destroyed my father. It's a stain on your name. Bring me the silver helmet. Then I'll remove it. Killed me when you had the chance. Ready, Jane. Go on. Let's go get father. I'm burdened by conscience. Which puts me in a disadvantage. How is conscience a disadvantage? There are moral lines that I won't cross. No one grieves more than I do for my face death. There is no time. You must send in Schwartz's army and take the hour. No, 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 no. I will not shed blood. There has to be another way. But more death is not the answer here. Violence only ever begets violence. There will be no mercy for those who do not show I'll it. fight dirty. I will fight Jacopo with everything that I have. Only if it is legitimate. Words. Words beget dialogue. But it's all meaningless. And the only way to thrive in the real world, world of sin, be a more ruthless sinner than your enemy. We must forgive young Master Lorenzo. His wisdom is parroted from books, not won through the trials of life. Will you listen to the man who brought us to this? Why is he so desperate to avoid war? I failed, Clarice. I failed. By trying to seek peace, I brought war. By trying to save lives, I, I lost them. His blood on my hand. You sought peace. No matter what I sought. Well, I still believe that we must strive for a peaceful resolution. Let us do this then. Together. You have a new family, a new life, a new brother even. Don't let him break us apart. Stay. I always meant us to be friends, Francesco. You're so obsessed with making peace, you can't see your enemies preparing for war. We shall be again.
sorry this is my soul. I'm so sorry. You should listen to me. <laughs> listen to me. You'll be alive. The despots are dead. Is that a ghost then? You may confess before I pass sentence. So we get no trial. To my brother, Lorenzo, I'll do anything you will later regret. Hang them. And I want their coat of arms removed from every building, every document, every coin, and every surface in this city. I want the Patsy name expunged from history! You must seek peace, no matter the cost. I tried. Do good. Be good. I tried to make peace with you. Be a better man than your father. Your grandfather. It ends here. You lose. And lose what little is left of my life. Should I listen to you? Better late than never. <laughs> You've lost everything you ever stood for. You've lost your soul. Meso Medici. The Briar at San Marco sent me to close up the church. And every man that's responsible for your brother's murder is dead. But if you wish to pray, I would be happy to join no. you. No, no, I don't wish to pray. One more must die. At what cost to yourself? Father? Any cost. Show them that you are different. Lorenzo. On what terms? Beg for the Lord's forgiveness of your mortal sin. Your sins do not turn your face from heaven. The hanging of Bishop Salviati. His holy vestments. Right, right. Christ looked down from his cross while my brother was butchered and did nothing. And Sixus approving the butchering of the Medici in God's house, that's not a mortal sin. I owe him nothing. You want me to beg forgiveness for the man who condoned the murder of your son? No, but what are the alternatives? War? Our city can't afford to see any more of its sons die in vain. Giuliano did not die in vain. Then what did he die for? At least consider the Pope's offer and see an end to this excommunication. Messer Medici. We must not accept peace at any cost but on our own terms. What are you doing? I ask for forgiveness from you and from Almighty God for the death of your brother. Would you do the same? I ask for God's forgiveness. I would ask you and Almighty God to forgive me. Just say sorry. You don't have to mean it. You are not truly repentant. So your words are meaningless. I will never, never show any remorse for avenging my brother's murder. Never. It is not your place to save the world, Lorenzo. Or your mother wanted. <laughs> More than anything in the world was for you to achieve your dream. I can't do this anymore. Yes, you can. It's too dangerous. What, what good is it going to do? You think that you can work a miracle? You're only flesh and blood. God will not save Florence, so we must. You cannot carry this burden on your own. You must let others help. And what would you counsel me to do now? Fight fire with fire. Then we fight or die. No, I cannot, will not seize power. There must be another way. There is, but you won't like it. Florence needs your mod and your family. Don't you ever tell me what comes before my family. Do you understand? You know, son. I prefer to work than play these games, father. My father, he sees me as a boy. I wouldn't wish for responsibility too soon. I can choose not to make the same mistakes as his father. Pierre is going to lead this family. But what does it matter what he thinks? Because he's my son. And he's got to learn to put aside personal tragedy. Have you? You must miss your brother. I'll see you and your children join him. The dragon emerged from its cave, breathing fire. It was a mistake coming here. You could have at least died with your family. Now you're die alone. And thus, the king had no choice. He sent his strongest men to ride out to meet the terrible dragon. But the dragon was fierce. The king knew that if he sent his men into battle, even more lives would be lost. Mr. Lorenzo would help us. For the welfare of his kingdom, he had to sacrifice his dearest possession. His honor. His name was... Lorenzo! What's wrong, Papa? It's over. It's over and we've won. You've made your peace with the cost. 
He's safe because of me. We all are. It was for this family. My family, Florence, all of Italy come to that. Yes. A family built on what? How have you done that? Lies! Corruption! What else, Lorenzo? What? Through bribery. Thank you. Messa Medici. And blackmail. What is it? The way to win. Threats. The money is yours. Peacemaker! A murder. And we have one. You knew and did nothing. I saved you. And let others die. I had to do this or more would die. You think I'm wrong to do this? To kill a man that gets in your way? If you cared what I thought. You could have asked me how I felt before Tommaso's murder. You're a very good friend, Tommaso. Your own friend. If there is a choice, then you tell me what it is. Hmm? Tell me what it is. It's Clarice. Her last words were about her family. Clarice feared for your children. Come For your soul. I pray you find the courage to beg the Lord's forgiveness. I'll never forgive myself. For the sins that stain your soul. For the pain that I've caused you. And is he who should beg forgiveness? He's our father. It was God that struck the first blow. And he's abandoned his children against your father. You don't blame God for what happened to my father. You blame yourself. There was nothing you could have done. Who have you become, Lorenzo? Who I had to become. You must be desperate to come to the man who betrayed Florence. I'm looking for a man with no honor. Name the city we are to march you Florence, I never resented you for taking my place in this house, only in my father's affection. Piero, you got nothing to say? I can't be party to this. Well, then leave us. But you're welcome to it. When I'm head of my family, there'll be no place for violence in Florence. The man you revere so has commanded Savonarola be killed. Oh, can't he be reasoned with? No. He's weak. Is he? But I'll stop him. How? So you betray me to Savonarola? I've done terrible things, Bruno. Sometimes a man has to do bad to do good. Some evils can't be justified, no matter what good they do. Act now, Lorenzo, or lose everything. You're no son of mine. I'll try to double trick. You will never, ever rule Florence. You're not capable. You're too weak. Such a man might murder not only those who mean him harm, but those who love him. Get out of my sight. Get out of my sight, come on. Savonarola will die anyway. This was Clarissa's. What would she think of what you're going to do? That's enough. Forgive me, Father. Forgive me. No. No. Forgive me. I failed you. But I failed you as a father. Piero, you've never failed me. Never. I lost myself. And I lost the people. And you saw me. Thank you. Nobody will remember your gardens. I don't think so. What happened here in Florence? I don't think it can ever be erased. He wishes to be with his family. What do you want to say to our brother? One day, he'll lose at something. And I'll be there. Oh, I'm sure. To gloat. Pick you up. I'll tell him to be proud of his son. As I am of mine. Surely a man's life does not end with his own. Not if he has a son. And we serve God by aiding those in need, but we also serve him by recognizing the beauty of the world he created. Beauty does bring us closer to God. <laughs>